it's a special part of your of, of, of your offense and, 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 and your special teams can't control the other team I mean you hear football coaches always complaining well we gotta improve our special team play. well this is special team play what? <laughs> it's George Bailey he really well, come is. on <laughs> well, 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 Mr. Potter get me back I don't care what happens to me get me back to my wife and kids and it's something obviously that, that that we have to get better at. I mean, I, you know, we, we've run ourselves out of innings here a uh, 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 he heck of a lot. I want to live again. I want to live again. I want to live again. Please, God, let me live again. And 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 and, and you talk about it. <laughs> My mouth's bleeding, Bert. My mouth's bleeding. I, 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 don't you know me, Bert? It's, a, it's George Bailey. <laughs> I was going to say, when Luz does manage uh, it, they're going to remake It's a Wonderful Life, and here he'll be. Zuzu's pedals. Zuzu's pedals. Zuzu. There they are! Bert! What do you know about that? Merry Christmas! It's a special part of your, of, of, of your offense. Yay! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Bert! <laughs> I mean, is that who he was? Merry Christmas, movie house! Merry Christmas, movie house! Merry Christmas, Emporium! Merry Christmas, you wonderful old Billy alone! I don't think when you come in as an outsider that you know what you're getting into until uh, you're here. It, it's, uh, it, 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 it's different, and it's good. It's good. But it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. That. It's not what you said. But so yesterday it wasn't good. And by the way, to start the show today, we were talking about the big story of the weekend, and that is Lou Pinella fleeing town to take care of his <laughs> ailing mother. And this, the, the seeming need on the part of many to find some sort of warm aspect to the story or some sort of, of bittersweet. Term bittersweet. It's yeah. not bittersweet. It's just bitter. It's a really sad end to a sad tenure and a sad guy and, and, <laughs> and a sad, sad team sad team sad times the whole thing reeks of death he's quitting because of death he's feeling his own mortality this cubs team is dead and not going to be reanimated anytime soon four and moves it, it's wow four moves jim hendry's magic four will we be counting them Pooh holes Ruth. Cliff Lee. Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> also on the list for Manicola for the reunion show Cliff Friday. Lee? No, Babe Ruth. Oh, big heavy he, fuel uh, crew He guy. was a big yeah. heavy fuel crew guy originally. Mm -hmm. Loved it. Ruth Black. Lee. Yep, that too. Oh, yeah. Chris in Hinsdale says, I watched Lou cry. He knows he didn't accomplish his goal. Delighting in an old man's sadness does I'm not delighting in his sadness. Not what we said at all. N no, no, at no point on this show did anybody delight in his sadness. Not at all. I'm just pointing out that the story is sad. It's all about death. It's about the death of his career. It's about the death of this Cub team, the death of his mother, the death of his uncle, him confronting his own mortality. There's no bittersweet. There's no tears of joy. It is just sad. It's a sad ending to a sad chapter. And all, and all I'm On saying, every level. aside from that, is the, the fact that you you can. My problem with this is that that ovation he got yesterday should be reserved for a guy who won a World Series for you. There should certainly be a polite acknowledgement of 46 years in baseball. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you do that, when you salute like that, you're just sort of like playing into the old Cubs stereotype. And then you walk outside the park, and 70 percent of the people surveyed said they want Ryan Sandberg as the next manager. Which and you, people tell me the Cub fans are smarter. All I'm saying is you were hired one job, one job only, win the World Series with this team. You were given all the the resources they could possibly must. You were giving a, a the most expensive team in the National League, so you failed. Aside from the sorrow and the sadness or whatever you want to whatever you want to read into yesterday, the fact is he didn't get the job done. And if you hear anybody delighting in any of that, then you're no, I'm then not you're, delighting then, no, at then all. Then you're a bad listener, and you you listen wrong if that's what you've heard, because that's that's not what we said. Not what's been said, and in fact, the opposite has been said. That it's understandable that he would be overwhelmed and would want some time away, yeah, but it's but, but, but the way that it, this has gone down is ridiculous. And I don't think he would be leaving under these same circumstances if the team were better. No, 
By Are the you... way, do we have the one question that Madam Atticola asked Lou? Do we have that somewhere? I think it's, will you please leave town immediately? <laughs> and the answer was yes. I think I will. I'm out of here. Orson yes. Bernstein. Please don't miss it. I don't hate Lou at all. I find him amusing. No. But uh, you have to separate the human side of it and what you feel about a guy who's uh, clearly reached the end of the road, at least managing, as opposed to what job he did. He wasn't he didn't have, was hired as a goodwill ambassador for the Cubs. He was hired to win the World Series. Everything was here. The money was spent. The players were here, extravagant players, players that were $40 million above market value brought in to feather your baseball nest. And... You failed. Whether you like him, whether you hate him, he failed. That's the bottom line. It had nothing to do with any of the emotion or anything of yesterday. He failed. We'll talk Bears in a moment on the score.